Now is the time we've all been waiting for. There is more trust than ever in Ripple's CEO in his ability to beat the SEC. This is a very bullish sign, ladies and gentlemen. That's not all, though. Also, the CEO has chosen to burn millions of XRP Ripple coins to make the price go up. BlackRock and central banks are also involved in this story. All of us understand what this feeling means. We simply can't pass up this chance. Now let's begin. Nota Benny. In a world where cryptocurrencies are always changing, the, the burning of coins is an idea that's been getting more attention. But what does it mean to burn XRP? And why is this a big deal in the crypto world? When you burn XRP, you take the coins out of circulation for good. It's like taking them out of the game so they can't be used again. Why would someone want to do that, though? Well, the plan is to cut down on the amount of XRP that is available, which should make it more valuable. That's how supply and demand work. Often, lowering the quantity will make the price go up. Matt Hamilton, a former director of Ripple, said that the company could burn all the XRP that is in its escrow wallet. This would mean that there would be a huge drop in supply, which could cause the price of XRP to rise. Let us talk about numbers now. At the moment, about 5,000 XRP are burned every day, which is about 1.82 million XRP every year. Now though, this is where things get interesting. A lot of people think that this rate is going to go up. Some sources say that every day up to 25,000 XRP are being burned. That's a big jump and people are talking about it. What does all of this fire have to do with Ripple's escrow accounts though? Well, it's thought that Ripple has a lot of XRP in escrow and the burning could have something to do with those funds. These new details make things more complicated, especially since Ripple is still in court with the SEC. Let me explain that. The fight between Ripple and the SEC has been a big deal in the crypto world. What happens with this court case could have huge effects, such as how Ripple handles its XRP funds and whether burning becomes a planned move in their game plan. Once the legal issues are over, Ripple could make big moves like burning a lot of XRP from its escrow, which could change the way the market works. Now, let's think about how burning XRP might change this court battle. Since Ripple is being criticized for how much XRP it sells, burning a big chunk of its XRP stocks could be seen as a way to show that it wants to reduce supply and possibly raise the price of XRP. By taking XRP out of circulation, Ripple could say that it is trying to decentralize the XRP ecosystem and ease any worries about centralization, which is a major point of contention in the SEC's case. On the other hand, burning XRP in the middle of a court case has a lot of complicated effects. From one point of view, it could be seen as an effort to follow the rules and protect investors. On the other hand, it could be seen as an attempt to trick the move would be very tricky and could make officials look even more closely at Ripple. It can be said that burning XRP makes an already complicated law case even more difficult to understand. It makes you wonder why people do these things and how they might affect the results of regulations. The crypto world is paying close attention as Ripple and the SEC continue their court case. If the result is good, it could change the future of XRP and show how cryptocurrencies should be managed in the US and other places. But wait, a shadowy figure appears out of the darkness of doubt, casting doubt and fear among people who own cryptocurrencies. A familiar face steps into the light just as the storm seems like it won't stop. The mysterious CEO of Ripple, who is behind XRP, breaks the silence by reassuring people and giving them vague information. What's going on behind the scenes? That's crazy. So Brad Garlinghouse, CEO of Ripple, knows this better than anyone else. His latest comments at Paris Blockchain Week have caused a lot of debate in the crypto community. It couldn't be more important for Garlinghouse to stress the need for clear regulations right now, especially since the legal fight over XRP is still going on. During his speech at the event, he stressed how important it is for there to be clear laws in the Bitcoin space. He said that these laws help build trust among investors and speed up innovation. However, what does this mean for Ripple and its big plans for the future? Well, Garlinghouse says that legal certainty isn't just a nice to have, it's a must. Additionally, Ripple is no new to problems with the government. In fact, Garlinghouse talked straight about the problems that come up when trying to create coin exchange traded funds in the US, pointing out the SEC's rules as an example. Even though there are problems, Garlinghouse is still positive. He said he was sure that ETFs would be introduced eventually and urged people to be patient and persistent as they navigated the regulatory situation. But that's not all Ripple wants to do. Garlinghouse also said that they were going to release a USD stablecoin later this year. This shows that the company is serious about expanding their product line and addressing regulatory issues. Garlinghouse's vision is based on a deep knowledge of how blockchain technology can change the world. He talks strongly about getting developers to work on Web3, pointing out that the field has a lot of room for growth and new ideas. Garlinghouse's ideas struck a chord with the people who were there, showing how well he understood how blockchain was changing. His strategic vision and ability to lead are very important in getting Ripple through regulatory problems and shaping the future of the cryptocurrency community. To put it another way, the CEO of Ripple is attacking the SEC from every direction. 
Besides that, he is buying more coins, and now, at a meeting, he tells everyone that stable coins have been made and that ETFs might be coming soon. Without a Trump card, none of this would be possible. And as we can see, the CEO of Ripple is in charge, so we don't need to worry. Don't let go because the XRP Ripple story isn't over yet. In fact, things are about to get really exciting, and it might shake the whole coin market. With the ability to burn in the CEO of Ripple smart moves, the price of XRP is about to go through a huge increase that has never been seen before. You will be unable to speak after hearing the amounts we are about to reveal. Get ready to be stunned. Don't miss this. This means that the possible burning of half of XRP stock is a big deal that has effects. Even though it's just a guess, this possible situation has captured the attention of investors and fans alike, starting conversations about how such a huge fire could change things. At the heart of this speculation is the idea that cutting the overall supply of XRP in half would make it much more scarce, causing more people to want it, which drives up the price. Each XRP would become more valuable as fewer were made available. This idea has led some experts to predict a crazy price of $10,000 per coin. What would that mean for Ripple Labs, the company that made XRP, and all of its many relationships, though, before we can understand what might happen, we need to understand how Ripple and XRP work together. Ripple's suite of cross-border payment options, including its most popular product, Ripplenet, use XRP as a bridge currency to make international transactions quick and cheap. A $10,000 price for XRP would not only prove that Ripple's goal is real, but it would also show how useful and valuable XRP is in the global financial ecosystem. It would make Ripple Labs a strong player in the banking world possibly getting more clients, investors, and business partners to use its site. A valuation like this could also have big effects on Ripple's current relationships and collaborations. As Ripple grows, its partners will gain from the increased value and liquidity of XRP. This will make them even more committed to the Ripple ecosystem. But Ripple wants to do more than just work with other companies. Recent news stories have shown that companies and central banks around the world are becoming more interested in XRP. From BlackRock's plans to use XRP for foreign payments to the Central Bank of Ireland's plans to leverage, it's clear that XRP is becoming more popular as a safe way to do business across borders. The fact that central banks and other financial institutions have started to use XRP shows that it is useful and that it has the ability to change the way money moves around the world. Over 30 central banks are working together to make digital currencies on the XRP system. Both Ripple and XRP have a bright future ahead of them. In conclusion, the idea of burning half of XRP stock may seem like a crazy fantasy, but it could have a huge effect on the price and use of XRP. Since Ripple is still working hard to change the way cross-border payments are made, the stage is set for XRP to become a major player in the world's financial world. Things may get hard along the way, but for people who believe in the power of blockchain technology to change things, what could come back could be nothing less than amazing. And now the only question is, what do you think about that? Do you think XRP Ripple will go up? What do you think will happen? Share your thoughts in the comments part below, I'd like to know. This video has now come to an end. Thanks for seeing it. Thank you for reading. If you liked it, please click the like button, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and most importantly, don't forget to follow.